Yesterday, a video went viral featuring Donald Trump speaking in front of the United Nations General Assembly. And it went viral for a very specific reason. Let's take a look. Today, I stand before the United Nations General Assembly to share the extraordinary progress we've made. In less than two years, my administration has accomplished more than almost any administration in the history of our country. America's so true. <laughs> Didn't expect that reaction, but that's okay. Yes, so while Trump was bragging about his so-called accomplishments, uh, the UN General Counsel responded by laughing at him. Now, it's fascinating to see the way uh, his supporters have twisted this story uh, on the next day, today. Uh, Nikki Haley has decided to go on Fox News, and she has a completely different narrative of what actually happened. It's incredible, take a look. I know you were in the room when the laugh happened. Sometimes the media can portray it as one thing, and it's not that at all. What was it like, and, and why that reaction? The media's got this so wrong. I deal with these leaders every single day. I know exactly how they think. Do they love America? No. Do they respect America? Now they do. When he said that, they love how honest he is, and it's not diplomatic, and they find it funny. I mean, when he goes and he is very truthful, they kind of are taken back by it. And they're not so used to it. They're not used to it. But let me tell you, all day yesterday, they were falling over themselves to get a picture with him, to talk about how great his speech was, how strong it was. Whether he said good things about them or not, they love that he's honest with them. Mm -hmm. And they've never seen anything like it. And so there's a respect there. It's, I saw that the media was trying to make it something disrespectful. That's not what it was. Mm -hmm. They love to be with him. <laughs> they thought he was strong. What yeah. she just said was funny because of how blatantly not at all true mm -hmm. or accurate it was, mm -hmm. much like what happened with Donald Trump at the UN. It's funny when people say things that are just so clearly the opposite of actuality, which is why people were laughing. What right. else could they even have been laughing at? So you make such a good point. And, and by the way, I, I wanna add something to the conversation that I actually forgot to mention yesterday when we originally covered the story. When Trump was bragging about his accomplishments, remember on an international scale, he hasn't accomplished anything except failure. So he pulls out of the climate accord, Paris Climate Accord. He destroys the nuclear agreement with Iran. North Korea so far, it looks like there might be a little bit of progress, but so far they have not denuclearized, right? So there are all these failures on an international scale. And when he was bragging about his accomplishments, he was talking about tax cuts. That's what he was talking about. He was talking, talking about what was happening on a domestic level. You're, at the, you're speaking in front of the UN General Assembly. You have been a complete and utter failure. You have made enemies out of allies, longtime US allies. That's why they're laughing at you, because you're a failure. And by the way, domestic policy, you, you failed at that as well. Yeah, no, no, Let, let's break down what Nikki Haley said. She said they laugh because they respect them so much. Wait, no. how does that add up? It's like, oh, there's Nelson Mandela. <laughs> <laughs> a, that guy was in jail for 27 years to gain freedom for the, his people. <laughs> That's, what? How does that make any sense? The second theory she had was they laugh because he's so honest. Really? Is that a thing that uh, Lakers won the other night, 89 to 80? <laughs> That's true, that happened. That happened. That's really funny. No, that's not being honest or being respected does not lead to laughter. That makes no goddamn sense at all. No, yeah, I'm a stand-up <laughs> comedian and I can tell you that, yeah, honesty, respect, not major factors for a crowd when it comes to <laughs> la laughing at material or just in general. But yeah, it make, I wanna know if he like believes this in his head though now, like that happened and at first he was taken aback, but then he was immediately like, oh man, I'm funny too. You know, I'm here just spreading the truth and crushing with these jokes. They love me. <laughs> okay, well, so that goes to, to this to this uh, next point because he said um, today when Trump was asked about it, he told reporters about the laugh. Quote: Oh, it was great. Well, that was meant to get some laughter, yeah. but it was great. Oh. But wait, 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 so wait. He called it. I knew so, it. <laughs> yeah, you you were right. Okay, it was meant to get some laughter. Then why did you say, as we just saw on the tape? 
Didn't expect that reaction, exactly. but that's okay. Exactly. Oh, God. <laughs> but he's so honest, guys. He's so honest. And he doesn't even have a butthole. Just like Kim Jong il. No butthole. <laughs> The former North Korean dictator claimed that he had no anus. So, I well, mean, and, and by the way. Do you know that he doesn't? No, I mean, and, uh, when <laughs> the, and when the North Korean people laughed, it was because they knew he was so honest about not right. having an anus. Yeah, and they respect <laughs> his lack of an anus. That's, That's right, right, they're like, man, much respect on the no anus. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's so crazy. In this case, he's literally the butt of the joke. Uh, <laughs> and finally, this is why people hate politicians. Everybody knows why he left, even the Trump guys know why they laughed. They laugh. And you might hate him for it, and you might not like that the rest of the world laughed at your dear leader. But they clearly laughed at him because of the what they viewed to be a preposterous thing that he said. Not because they greatly respected him, you know that's not a thing. Not because they thought, he. my God, he is so wonderfully honest. It is true, guys, isn't it true that he's accomplished more in two years than any other US president, including Lincoln and Roosevelt and Washington and Jefferson? In just two years, isn't that everybody agree at the UN? Everybody agrees. <laughs> I, I also think that part of it was that little so true he did. Yeah. Which is, you know, that's a staple of his. But that one in particular, the way it came out, I think to me it sounded like even he didn't actually think that it was yes. true. And I, yeah. and that was like when the he got the biggest laugh was after he said that. You know, like he wouldn't have been that bad, I don't think, if he, there was just like murmurs of laughter, but then he hit him with the so true tag and just brought the house down. I love that you mentioned the so true part because I don't know, I might be wrong, but the way I interpreted it was that he probably heard the murmurs and then said so true. Because he said it in a oh, way that's so true. Definitely. Way. definitely. Oh, yeah, yeah, I definitely. And, and think when that's he what does happened. that in America, the uh, press is like, oh, okay, we have to be neutral. We can't. No, right. that's it. Hey, maybe he did accomplish more in two years than uh, Lincoln and Washington did. Maybe, maybe. Okay, we have to be neutral, right? But the rest of the world owes him no obligation. So they're like, I. They're like, they're probably thinking, we're not any students of American history, but we're pretty sure you're not the greatest American president ever in two years. So when you had so true, you look like an idiot. That's, gee, I wonder if that's the actual reason why they laughed. Okay. And it, I gotta say one other thing though, because again, Trey, great point. If Trump, as he's claiming today, meant it as a joke, Wait, are you saying it's a joke that you accomplished more than anybody else mm -hmm. right. uh, in two years? That you were obviously kidding because you're actually a buffoon and have accomplished nothing? That's why you made the joke in front of the United Nations saying, I mean, how, how ridiculous would it be for me to have accomplished more in two years than any other US president? I was obviously kidding because I haven't accomplished anything. Is that the joke? Because if that's a joke, fine, we accept it. All right, uh, there's more. I, I have to go to the Kill Me video because it's amazing. So let's take a look at that. I like the president's, I like his comment, I like the reaction. And then when he said I was expecting that reaction, I liked it when everyone laughed afterwards. I was surprised, or should I say, uh, not surprised, but taken aback by the way other people said, oh, the world's laughing at us. I think they were having fun. Well, I think the president made a statement that we're on a roll, that they always say that a good speaker's in the room. They gotta react to what's in the room. So we react to what's in the room, and they kind of laughed with him afterwards on his comment. I thought it was a good uncertainty scripted moment in a very scripted situation. I thought it was crazy. And I couldn't believe how people twisted it. Dude, just so embarrassing. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I don't, there's no way that any of them actually believes that's what happened, right? Or maybe they do, I don't know. But like I, the amount of cognitive dissonance to like convince themselves that yeah. that is what that actually was is it's, it's unfathomable. Inc it's, it is pretty incredible how they will cheerlead with him for him no matter what, no matter what. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Brian, I got news for you. Your uh, leader is a laughing stock. The whole world laughed at him because he's a buffoon who makes outlandish, insane, Dr. Evil-like statements. Like, he once claimed he invented the word fake. It's like literally out of Austin Powers. Uh, when the guy said, uh, my, what was it, his father and claimed that he invented the question mark. So when you do that in a situation where Fox News has not brown beaten, brow beaten, also maybe Freudian slip there, <laughs> uh, that might be true too, but brow beaten the rest of the press into neutrality, uh, yes, the, everybody else in the world laughs because it's a preposterous, ridiculous thing to say that you're the greatest guy ever. I don't, 
like the greatest president. This idiot once claimed he had higher poll numbers than Abraham Lincoln. There was no polling during Abraham Lincoln's time. But when we laughed at that, we were showing him respect. You know, little known fact about Honest Abe, hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Civil War material killed all the time. <laughs> That's right. Why was he so funny? Respected he, and honest. And honest. honest. Two easy ways to follow the Young Turks. One is hit the subscribe button down below. Uh, then you're a TYT subscriber. And second is ring the bell. And when you do that on YouTube, you're notified of our videos.